He tried to kill me so many times. Sometimes he would force me to hop on one leg and sing the national hymn of Tajikistan. I tried talking to my in-laws, but their response was, well, every woman gets abused. Domestic violence in Tajikistan is an emergency and widespread across the country. This video shows a young woman being dragged out of a trunk by her partner in the capital of Tajikistan. In her case, the abuser got only eight months of imprisonment. But what's outrageous is that most perpetrators of domestic violence in Tajikistan go unpunished. Tajikistan is a country where conservative and traditional norms have been on the rise over the past two decades and harmful practices that are often linked to domestic violence, such as polygamous or unregistered marriages, despite being illegal, continue to be widespread. We had an argument while he was watching TV. He dragged me into the bathroom and shaved off all my hair. He took me outside and locked me in our car garage for two hours, dosed me with dirty water and told me to shut up. Following a 10-year campaign, civil society activists in Tajikistan succeeded in 2013 with the passage of the country's first ever law on domestic violence. It established services for victims of domestic violence. It allowed for victims to register cases of violence with the police and to obtain protective orders. It also did a lot to raise public awareness. Despite the law being positive in many respects, the law does not recognize domestic violence as a crime, which makes it much harder for victims to obtain justice. I landed in the hospital many times, but always hid the real reason from the doctors. The doctors probably knew that I was covering for my husband but they too would act like they believed me. I wanted to complain to the police, but knew it would cause a scandal. Women told us that they largely still fear going to police stations to report violence because of the pervasive attitude that domestic violence is simply a family matter. Police officers often do not take it seriously. They do not treat domestic violence as a crime. They often uh, refuse to register the complaints, issue protection orders. We also documented cases when survivors were pressured by law enforcement to go back into the abusive relationships. If a woman from the village walks around with bruises on her face, it's considered completely normal. Everyone knows that a wife never goes to the police herself. The shame of doing so would ruin her life. Her relatives only contact the police after she is been killed. In a country where married women often live in the home of their in-laws and don't own separate property, shelters play a critical role in allowing them to get away from the violence and move on with their lives. There are lack of services for survivors of domestic violence in Tajikistan. There are only four shelters available in a country of 9 million that offer legal, medical and psychological help. After years of enduring my husband's abuse, some friends helped me to escape to a women's shelter in the capital Dushanbe. They provided me with medical care and their lawyers advised me obtaining a divorce and seeking my share of property. Thanks to the support of the shelter, I learned to sew, took culinary classes and gradually became confident. I learned that there are good people in this world after all. The Tajik government needs to lead the work to end domestic violence in Tajikistan. This begins by acknowledging the scope and the severity of the problem. It should immediately criminalize domestic violence, ensure that perpetrators are prosecuted, and provide victims access to services, such as more domestic violence shelters, legal aid, medical care, and longer-term solutions such as affordable housing.